first thing we want to talk about is prioritization. So before we want to look at the calendar, we want to ask ourselves, where do I want to put my focus on? And the first thing you want to do is you want to start your day by writing all your tasks down. I do this every single morning. Second thing I do is I, every day I ask myself, okay, what one activity, if done effectively, will get me most of my results? And then I put the, my tasks in order. Obviously, then I ask myself, okay, what is the second most important activity? You see, this is switch. This is not a to-do list, guys. This is not a to-do list. This is a focus management list. So now we're going to talk about something very interesting called slicing and dicing. And this is something that I do again in the morning. You look at the task before you start working on it or before you start your day. And you break it down into smaller tasks on a piece of paper. I'm going to give you an example in a second. The smaller, the better. And then you want to start with the first step and do one step at a time. So why is this very amazing? This is what I want to do. You know, I don't want to think a lot about what I have to do. Mm -hmm. When I write it down, I'm just like, bam, bam, cool. Now we're going to talk about potentially my favorite topic is deep work. So every time, it's almost like an airplane. Every time I want to go into flow state, I want to get to that altitude, I use a lot of energy to get to that altitude. But once I'm there, and this is what I say, the mental state of deep work, once I get to that part, I feel focused, my creativity goes up, I feel happier, and I get things done faster. Now, switching tasks and going back to planning so what do you want to do is, and this is something I do, I have recurring deep, lock, uh, deep, deep work blocks. And when I'm doing these deep work blocks, obviously in the morning, now we're adding up, right? In the morning, I prioritized, I sliced and diced my tasks, and then I have a deep work block. I turn off all notifications. I say no to people. And the habit is, this is an action step, and I do this every Monday, is... I have a 15 minute recurring block in my calendar where I plan my deep work blocks for the next week. Let's move. So now how to effectively use your calendar. And the goal is, is to take those upcoming important tasks and put them into deep work blocks. It's the first thing you plan are your breaks. One time my mentor told me, he told me, plan your breaks or they will break you. So planning your, your breaks first, that's going to add structure to your day. It's going to make sure you're, you have energy throughout the day. And it's going to give you a healthy feeling of urgency. This is what I say. The most important thing when it comes to using a calendar is hold yourself accountable to your plan. So how to take effective breaks? Um, super important. It's going to make sure that you don't end up feeling just dead by the end of the day. First thing you want to be aware of when you take breaks is no screens allowed. Super, super important, very underestimated. And then you want to avoid speaking if you feel tired after a long task, especially cold calls. Drink a lot of water, super important. Like, do breath work. And my favorite is go for a walk. And this is probably the most important thing, especially about these two, is um, being able to take this mental decision and say, okay, I'm going to stop working now, not because I finished what I did, but because now I have, I planned a break and I'm going to hold myself accountable to my calendar. And this is just, it builds like this confidence and feeling of security.